Welcome back to our fishing awareness training. In this section, we'll be discussing some of the common tactics and techniques used by attackers in fishing attacks. We'll cover spear fishing, whaling, and farming, as well as psychological manipulation and social engineering. Spear fishing. Spear fishing is a type of fishing attack that targets a specific individual or organization. The attacker will gather information about the victim from social media, corporate websites, or other sources and use this information to craft a convincing email that appears to be from a trusted source, such as a colleague or a supplier. The goal is to trick the victim into providing sensitive information or to install malware on their device. Whaling Whaling is a type of spear phishing attack that targets high-level executives or other individuals with access to sensitive corporate information. In this type of attack, the attacker will pose as a senior executive or other high-level employee and send an email to a subordinate or vendor, requesting sensitive information or a wire transfer. Farming Farming is a type of attack where an attacker redirects a victim to a fake website, often through a phishing email or a compromised web browser. The fake website is designed to look like a legitimate site, such as a bank or an e-commerce site, and is used to collect login credentials or financial information. About psychological manipulation and social engineering. Phishing attacks often rely on psychological manipulation and social engineering to convince the victim to take a specific action, such as clicking a link or providing sensitive information. Common techniques include creating a sense of urgency, using social proof, or appealing to the victim's emotions. Example, urgent request for funds. An attacker might use an urgent request for funds to create a sense of urgency in the victim. For example, the attacker might impersonate a senior executive and send an email to an employee requesting an urgent wire transfer to a supplier. The email might include a sense of urgency, such as, this needs to be done by the end of the day, in order to pressure the victim into taking action without verifying the request. Example, fake support call. Another common social engineering technique is the fake support call. In this type of attack, the attacker will call the victim and pose as a technical support representative from a well-known software or hardware company, such as Microsoft or Apple. The attacker will then request access to the victim's computer to fix a problem, which can result in the installation of malware or the theft of sensitive information. Conclusion Phishing attacks use a variety of tactics and techniques to convince victims to provide sensitive information or take other actions that benefit the attacker. By understanding some of the common techniques used in phishing attacks, we can better recognize the signs of a phishing email and take steps to protect ourselves and our organizations.